All right, so we finally gotten to the point where we're putting our 55 pound thrust import on the big rig, powered by the 156 amp hour OMU. Big Mamba Jamba. That's a big battery. Never, I have never seen below 40% on that meter right there. And I've done 20 miles on it, well, 18 miles. I've never seen below 40% on it. So, if only there was a way to be able to steer this from the seat. Because that's not very long. Oh, there is. What's this? Look what just showed up. There it is. Now we're going to put it together. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but it's supposed to be really easy, so stick around. This is going to be informative. If this works, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to want this. All right, this is really easy to set up. I mean, it took me like five minutes, and that's after taking it back apart and taking this off and wrapping the, putting a piece of electrical tape around that so this doesn't get, this cord doesn't get wrapped in this thing right here. But it's it's calibrated, it's ready to go. I just gotta, I gotta clean this up a little bit. Um, I didn't realize that the brain box is not gonna fit in my milk crate like I had planned. So I gotta figure something else out for that. But I got stern mount on. I'm gonna go through all these settings for you, for you guys here in a minute. Stern mount on, so. That's going to make it go that way. And spot lock will work too, which is that button right there. And I'm not, there you go. It's holding, it's going to hold it in the garage right there. So turn spot lock off. You just mash it again. But this is, this has three speeds. Okay. I have it. I thought it had five. You know what? I did it wrong. I did it backwards. So we got to turn it all the way up on five and uh, do it again. There you go. It's calibrating itself. There you go. She be calibrated. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten speeds. And this is cruise control button right here. So I had this question, now I'm about to answer it. I don't know if you can go cruise and then slow it down. You can. So there you go. Two beeps and it's off. One beep and it's on. This sensor has the face away. The little arrow right there pointing forward. So I think that's going to be just about perfect for it. I'm going to run it without the rudder. I have a bullnose rudder on the way for it. So I might actually have to drop this a little bit more to put the bullnose right. Yeah, I am. So I might have to take this stock thing that's off right here that came with the motor to get my bullnose on there. So, but that's not going to be here till Monday. But I mean, it'll go. It'll go just like it is. It off. There you go. One beep on. And this had the five set speeds, and now you've got true variable speed. It's not like the autopilot where you just mash the button and it goes. You know, it'll continue to go. You gotta continue to hit it to get it to slow down. 
which is fine. That's pretty cool. That's a freaking game changer for me. It's the only thing that's, because I had a, a really long tiller handle, an extendable tiller handle to run this up to there. And uh, I've proven that stern mounts are faster than um, front mounts. So, and this thing with that motor, actually with the 50 or 45 and the pedals on this kayak, eight miles an hour in Lake Mojave. <laughs> so this is 55. So kind of excited to see what she's going to do. So I'm going to throw the, uh, I'm going to throw the clip of the uh, 1400 subscriber giveaway at the end of this. And uh, it might seem like a daunting task, but in the last two days we've got over 40 subscribers and we've got like 70 to go. So as I, I, it was actually in like a day and a half, we got over 40 subscribers. So keep it up. And well, there it is right there. So it's a big old bag of bag of stuff. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and we'll come back with the finished product. All right, this is kind of temporary because this crate right here, I had this sitting in the backyard. It's been sitting back there for like two years. So it's very, it's very brittle. It's about ready to break. So this is just a temporary solution. I put that, what I did is I flipped, or flipped the battery around. When I get my permanent box, I will cut a hole here so that meter will stick through like right here. And I'll be able to see my, see my meter right there. And right now I have the brain box bungeed to the back. But it might be able to when I, because I have this much space here and this much space here, but that meter's sitting right against this. So if I stick that meter through here, that brain box might be able to set in there. But I kind of like this, you know, because you got to have you got to have room for your for your cords. So and there's no there's when I'm on the motor there's oh you know what that's not going to work. It's going to have to go up here because I have this. It's gonna go right here. So now I gotta now I gotta figure that out. I gotta see if it's gonna work on the front. So not quite done yet. Alright, so this is a like I said, this is a Newport 55 pound thrust 24 inch shaft. So and that thing that came with the motor is still in there. I haven't taken it out yet, but I can, and that will get me down. A little bit further but I think it's gonna well I know it's gonna work but this is my only question if I'm gonna have enough room there and I should because the normal rudder sits right here right there so it should be all right and still you know you got that's gonna steer you but if you're going slow especially you know at Willow downriver you know, you're gonna want a big rudder. You need a big rudder for this monstrous thing. Just to um just to get it to react in the current. So but like I said, I gotta I gotta wait for my other milk crate to get here and finish this up a little bit. But so far, you know, hey. It's alright. It's easy to hook up, easy to do. I am gonna take this thing out right here and that'll drop it down another inch and a half. Other than that, there should be. All right, if you guys clicked on this video, I'm sure you've seen that smiling face before. That's Justin from Kayak DIY, and he put a lot of he put a lot of time and money into getting this going. So I I took the leap of faith with him. And, uh, You know, you guys know I'm not gonna, I I asked him a lot of questions before I went for it. And uh, he answered, he gave me the right answers. So I'm pretty sure that he's he's a smart dude. So he's not gonna back something that's, that's junk. So it's made in Brazil, but they're getting ready to start making it in uh, Florida. So um, all that said, uh, auto boat, I think it's autoboat.com actually. So yeah, check it out. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. It works on uh, 
most of the uh, that's what happens when your battery dies it works on uh, the Newports and the Minn Kotas but um, the true variable speeds they got to have the the different speeds on them to work as far as I know they haven't uh, that might be coming in later mods but right now they just have them I think it's the Minn Kota Tarovas and uh, pretty much any of the new ports but like I said if it's if it's the if it doesn't have the speed detents I think it needs to have those to work um, but unfortunately I won't be able to get her out on the water until after my because I don't want to you can hear how brittle that is that's plastic and uh, it's just it's just ready to break uh, I won't be able to get her out on the water until Monday when my other crate comes but I'm pretty anxious to see how she performs because I miss my motor. That is really cool. I mean, that's my big thing, being able to steer it. And now I got speed right here in the palm of my hands. I did suggest that he do like uh, on the autopilot. There's a quarter 20 insert right there because on my autopilot, I had it mounted right here. They think it's a racetrack, they really do. Uh, on one of them, uh, I call it a wobble mount. One of these. Uh, but it's got, ball, it's got a ball on the end of it. So that's how I had it on my autopilot. And, uh, that's what I was thinking here. But I've got a big crate that drops into here, clicks into here. So I'll just tie this handy dandy thing. I don't like having things around my neck, especially on water. It's a recipe for disaster. Um, but yeah, I'll just tie it right to there. And uh, I guess I could turn it off. There you go. She, she'd be off. But that is cool. I am gonna, I gotta figure out something. I don't like these cords. Look at that positive and negative laying right against each other. But uh, I, I would like to do some kind of plug like this. I might do that. Put one of these on each end of that DLAO right there. I think I might even actually have another one of those. Um, I don't know. Gotta look. But anyways, like I said, uh, 1400 subscriber giveaway is coming. It's right there. I'm gonna slide that clip in at the end of this. So, uh, I'm going somewhere tomorrow. I don't know where, but I'm going somewhere. I was gonna go today. But, Mother Nature said, no you will not. So I stayed home and waited for this. Anyways, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe, please. Check out the Amazon links down there. Give it a share. Auto boat, good stuff. Irvin, I know you want one. So yeah, uh, like and subscribe. Where is he? He's over there. Um, get us to 1400, take home that box of stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the water, maybe tomorrow. Thanks for watching, have a good day. All right, as promised, here is the 1400 subscriber giveaway. That, that, it's an eight pound Beyond Braid. Uh, how much? I think it's 300 yards, 200 yards, 300 yards, 300 yards, eight pound Beyond Braid. One of those. Froggies with a with a Ned head in it. That. Oh, a buck. Monster bass buck. Drop shad. Big bite baits. Finesse craw. Lunker head finesse craw. Another frog. Razor shad. Another frog. Some hooks. Top water. That guy. Some of those. That guy. That's pretty cool. Finesse worm. 
another one of those guys. Some of those. That guy. Those. Frogs. Big bite baits. These are good. That guy. Some more hooks. What do we got here? Oh, that's cool. Excuse me. Jeez, sneeze and fit. And this guy. So there you go. That is a pile of stuff right there. So you guys know how to get us there. Match that dude over there in the kayak. We'll go live at 1400. So thanks for watching. Good luck. Give it a share, and I'll see you on the water. Thanks for watching.